So in this video we're going to be looking at two different groups. Uh, the first one is the anterior group and the pelvis and also the medial group muscles of the thigh. Uh, the anterior group of the pelvis, we're, talking, we're going to be talking of the psoas major and the iliacus. Okay? These muscles are responsible for flexing the thigh. Now depending on the orientation or the part of the body that is fixed, uh, let's say for example that your upper body is fixed lying down, then when these muscles contract they will flex or lift up uh, the femur. <clears throat> but let's say you're, you're lying down and your lower body is fixed much like you are when you're lying in bed. So when you lift yourself up out of bed, aside from the abdominal rectus muscles, you have these uh, psoas major and iliacus that um, that flex and help lift you up out of bed. So let's look at the uh, psoas major. So when you look at the psoas major, uh, its point of origin is at the lumbar intervertebral disc uh, and the bodies of the transverse processes of the lumbar uh, vertebrae. And its insertion point is the same insertion point of the iliacus. So we don't have to spend too much time on that one, and it's just posterior of uh, the femur there at the lesser trochanter. Okay, so let's take a quick look, and you'll see it right there, the lesser trochanter of the femur. Okay, and so going right along with this is the iliacus, and its point of origin uh, is basically the, the uh, iliac fossa of the ilium uh, on the surface. And again, inserting itself at the lesser trochanter, much like your psoas major. So let me just remind you that in your quizzes, you need to know points, or your test, you need to know points of origin, points of insertion, and the function of these muscle groups. So just to finish off uh, our medial group here, we're uh, going to be talking of the adductor longus, adductor magnus, and the gracilis. So the adductor longus with this adductor uh, brevis there, their points of origin are the pubic bone near the pubic symphysis and its insertion point is <clears throat> as a posterior surface of the of the femur okay so uh, just to remind you that these muscles are adductor muscles so they help to pull the thigh in medially towards the body uh, and they also help for the adductor longus and magnus which I'm about to highlight right now these muscles adduct, they extend, and they also rotate the thigh laterally. Okay, so for the adductor uh, magnus, uh, you'll see here that its point of origin is the ischial tuberosity. Okay, in the ischium, okay, or the or the tush, if you remember, and then its point of origin is at the posterior uh, surface of the femur. Okay, so the gracilis. The gracilis muscle, the last part of the uh, the groin area. So, if you remember, these adductor muscles, these medi this medial group is uh, commonly known as the groin. Okay. So, the gracilis point of origin is the lower edge uh, of the pubic symphysis, just lateral to it, or just inferior to the adductor longus and brevis, and it rotates uh, medially and then posteriorly, and then comes back around uh, to the medial surface of the tibia. So this muscle helps in adducting, flexing, and it rotates the thigh medially. Okay, so that does it for the anterior and the medial group of the leg muscles.